Hey guys, welcome back to another Madden 25 online ranked video. I played this one more recently. I played this last night after I got off work. I was a little bit tired, but that's still no excuse. Uh, I was playing the 49ers, which after this game, I, I completely refuse to play the 49ers or the Seahawks, at least in Madden 25. When Madden 15 comes out, we'll see. Uh, I, I'm primarily play as the Panthers. There have been times when I played the 49ers and I picked Seahawks, or I played as the 49ers if the, my opponent picked the Seahawks, just to see if it would even things out. But I, I, I'm, I'm just done with the cheesing of the 49ers defense. It, it's, it's just insane. When uh, the, the Seahawks are just difficult to play. I, I'm not going to say they're a cheese defense. They're, it's really hard to pass on them. But the one thing that's constant about the Seahawks and the 49ers is their defense will cause a fumble. They will cause a fumble at some point in the game. I don't know, the 49ers, they have some big hidden linebackers, and it's really hard to run on them. But on the, at the same point, it's it, it, with the proper game plan, you should be able to beat them. But it's most of my losses, uh, I'm, I'm about half and half, 50-50 uh, win-loss column. And most of my losses have come from playing people who have chosen the Seahawks or the 49ers. So uh, I'm just done with that. I, I kind of want to get a win streak going. <laughs> so I'm going to stop playing the 49ers. Here, I'm going forward in the fourth and two. It's early in the game. I, I got a little bit of confidence. And I know it's the 49ers, so I have to do something. And he running commits and leaves Greg Olson wide open, gets a couple blocks downfield, and he's he's in for the touchdown. All right, time for my opponent to get the ball, see how he responds. Uh, I'm feeling kind of confident. He, he, he let me score within a matter of a couple plays, uh, one big play. Here he runs right into my linebacker. I, I set him up nicely. So, yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not sure where this guy's skill level is. He, he may not even be able to play with the 49ers. So we will see most people who, who play with the 49ers use a, a clutch of Vernon Davis as he's doing now. And that's all they do. They just stole the Vernon Davis. And honestly, Vernon Davis is one of the hardest people to cover in the game. You, you pretty much have to cover him manually. If you don't, he's probably going to be open. Uh, mixes in a little Frank Gore here right up the middle. I'm all right with that. A little couple of yard gains. As long as he's not breaking off some big gains with Frank Gore, which he kind of gets there. Uh, kind of cut that play off. But he got eight yards out of it. This is Luke Keekley doing what Keekley does. Stops the play. He could have got a lot more yards out of that if Keekley wasn't there. And it looks like he's probably going to run to the left. He doesn't. It's play action. Uh, and we got a last second pass defense. But, you know, you kind of want the interception in that. I and mean, he goes right over the middle to Vernon Davis again. I mean, you know, I'll take that. It's three three yard little dinker in there. I mean, he can do that all all, all game if he wants. Uh, I'll take that all, over everything. And here he had Vernon open again, but he squeezes it in, squeezes it in, squeezes it. And uh, the, probably the better passes I've ever seen Colin Kaepernick do. Not to say he can't throw, but I mean right there shows you he just overthrew Vernon by uh, a quarter mile. <laughs> and Kaepernick. He's a good quarterback, but, I mean, he's not making pinpoint precision passes. There he gets a little run on me, and, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating a little bit. I figure he's probably about to tie the game. He's been, he got down the field pretty easily. Uh, my safety saves me there. He tries to spin out of it, and, you know, that's, that's very dangerous. You notice a lot of times when you try to spin or juke and you get hit, you, you will fumble uh, a lot of times. Here he gets hit behind the line because he's running into his own lineman instead of running at the hole. He tries a screen here. I'm, I'm trying to get over there, but it's okay because my guys are shredding blocks like, like Loch Ness Monsters or something. Uh, we hold him to the field goal. He actually takes the field goal here. A lot of people would, would have went for it on 4th and 8 this close uh, with the game being this close and that close in the, uh, the red zone. So I'll, I'm trying to throw the... Uh, Put the game out of hand here. I'll try to throw Ted again. A, a bomb out here. I put a max protect on, and I mean, I only had three people running routes, and he still gets the sack. So I come out on a running back screen. Just, just I mean, if he's going to blitz, then I'll, I'm going to screen you. And I get, a, oh, look at that. There's just nobody out there. Nobody. But all my linemen are so slow. <laughs> 
Yeah, they finally they catch me. Somebody got the angle on me. He finally catches me 42 yards up the field. But it's all right. It was a good gainer. And honestly, I probably should have started switching back and forth between the screen plays. Uh, obviously, he, he, he's not game planning for him. But I see Ted Yen's got a pretty good look out there. But I underthrow the ball. <laughs> and he gets the interception. And that's just something I couldn't afford to do. Not against the 49ers. That was a dumb decision by, by me. And uh, I was just getting too gusto trying to get the touchdown. Here, I see he wanted to go out to, I believe that was Vernon running over the middle. Held him long enough for Latulale to get the tack or to get the sack. And uh, don't sleep on Latulale. They say he's just a run stuffer, but he gets a lot of sacks for me. Especially if you're holding on the ball that long. There, Keekly ties up the running back like he should, like a beast, the, the beast that he is. Here he tries to throw another screen. I get him on the edge, but it does hurt my cornerback. But, I mean, his screen game is going nowhere. Uh, I'm, I'm sniffing it out every time. Uh, here on 4th and 13, I should have sniffed out this in route. And Kinkley should have been there. But he gets the first down anyway. Squeezes it in there. I'm a little bit frustrated from the last play, so I'm going to blitz. I'm blitzing hard. And should have got the interception. He threw it early, and I should have got it. But he drops the interception. And when you drop the interceptions like that in a close game like this, it just hurts more. It, 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 it's like a knife, <laughs> a hot blade to the, to the kidney or something. I mean, here he is driving down the field. I could have had the interception to just suck all the momentum out of the game. And I would have had the two minutes to go downfield and score myself before he gets the ball back at half. And now I'm stuck trying to stop him from scoring here. And I call a play that I normally do not call. And he, he kills me for it over the middle. Let's see if we can hold him first and goal. He tries to run with Kaepernick. Sniff that out. I had Gore covered anyway, even if he tried to throw it to him. But I, I assumed he was going to run. Most people, you know, you, they get happy when they have running quarterbacks like that. Tries to throw another screen right here. You can tell screens are his clutch, his clutch, crutch. And now we got him a third and goal. I'm feeling good about it. Shouldn't have called man. Uh, left Vernon wide open. Gets to the seven yard line. He's going for it on fourth and goal this time. Uh, probably feels like his back's against the wall, but he, he has a chance to get the ball back anyway. And he gets a touchdown corner, which should have been covered, but for some reason it wasn't. And now I'm down three, and I tried something on a two-minute two minute drill, couldn't get anywhere, so I ended up having to kick the ball back to him at halftime. And now he's dropping back down the field again. Driving back down the field again. Here he goes with all these play actions, which really do nothing but waste time. I mean, what's the point of play action? I know you're going to throw it. You've been passing the ball all game. Here he has a chance of running outside, but he doesn't. Uh, he was in a formation that a lot of people like to use running to the, left, uh, to the right. Overthrows his man, which is a good thing because he was like triple covered. If he would have threw it straight to him, that should have been an interception. But who knows, man? My guy's dropping balls. Here, I thought I had it. I mean, the safety was in front, but Vernon beast molds him. Of course, cheeses it out, gets a touchdown out of it. Uh, he was completely covered, but, you know, it's the 49ers, so he gets a touchdown. Here, I do a max protect to try to throw it out the game again. Uh, almost got sacked once again, but got it out the game, but he drops it. And, and again, has a problem with dropping balls, but usually, you know, when he needs to catch a ball, he will. <laughs> Here, I'm going to try to throw Smith, and damn, man, they both go with Smith. Leave the game wide open, and I, I just didn't pull the trigger. Leaves me with 4th and 17 as I ran around like a, 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 a dingbat with Cam and get sacked. Uh, desperation time. I, I need to get back in this game. 4th and 17. Let's try it again. Uh, and of course, the pass rush gets in before I can complete the throw. So, leaving him with first down in the red zone. Uh, tries another play action. And my God, can I get an interception? Are you serious right now? He just. He, I don't know. Ka Kaepernick is just. Ooh, eat some dust, son. Kaepernick is just killing me with pinpoint passes right now. 
I, I, I can't get my guys to jump in anything. He gets an easy touchdown there and uh, uh, curl route, which curl routes are killer. Once you get to the red zone, there Olsen bells me out, holds on to the ball because he got, took a big hit. No, now I'm stuck, you know, down 21. Got to get some points. Driving up the field. I need this touchdown. The guy hasn't really been playing that well. He's got some some suck-up plays. And, and, you know, we got two touchdowns out of that. So I feel like I can get back in this game. Here I throw it to my tight end. He's wide open. And what's he do? Of course, a fumble. It's the 49. A fumble. Of course. It was coming some point in the game. And like I said, I'm paranoid, man. You, I was pressing cover ball the entire time. Like, I always protect myself. And it doesn't matter against the 49ers. You're, you're going to fumble. You're going to. So my opponent has the ball once again. They're down 21 still. Third quarter. And you know he's trying to put the nail in the coffin here. He's he's just throwing the ball around. And here we thought we had another interception. He, he thought we had an interception. And he gets the touchdown. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? And the cornerback perfectly jumped the ball. And he misses the entire ball for the receiver to catch it for a touchdown. I don't even know what I'm going to do. There's another fumble, but luckily that went out of bounds. But, I mean, I'm not going to be mad at that one. He did knock the crap out of Cam. But Cam's a big guy. He's 240 pounds, 250 pounds. He can take it. Eat some dirt, son. Still didn't really get me anything. That back trick is a killer in this game. Just a killer. If you time that out properly, you're going to have a lot of people eating dirt. Here I see everybody's backed off of Smith, so I believe I'm, I'm going to switch to the receiver screen. For uh, oh, actually no, this is fourth and fifth, so that, that's too risky. So I'm going to try to throw it to LaFell. He's covered. I'll throw it to Smith. Oof! Smith bailed me out there. <laughs> that was a bell out if I've ever seen one. First down. I need to get down the field. I mean, the game's pretty much over, but I, I, I'm not a quitter. And a lot of these guys don't like it when you score late minute points on them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I feel like he cheesed me through the game. He got a lot of lucky plays. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going out like a chump. I'm going out swinging. So I'm, I'm trying to get some last second touchdowns. Uh, throw it to Olsen again. Olsen's just going beast mode on him right now. Uh, I believe Olsen, if it wasn't for Vernon Davis's, you know, long bomb that he caught over my safety for a touchdown, uh, Olsen probably would have been outperforming him in this game so far. I believe Olsen's open again, but I try to get a, a, a touch pass out there to Smith on the sideline. He, I, I just overthrew it. Uh, but, uh, you know, right now I'm playing, you know, very loose. The game's over. I'm not really caring what the results of my plays are. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to frustrate my opponent one last time. And there he doesn't send really much of a rush. Eat some dirt, son. And Cam's just beasting over, running over guys, trying to get the first down. Comes the third in inches. That's the thing about these running quarterbacks. A lot of people do not plan for you to juke or move around them. They just expect you to just run and try to outrun everyone. You, you surprise your opponent with a couple of juke moves, and it can be all over. Here I get another screen, which I should have been doing more, and I almost messed that up, but I still get the touchdown out of it. But that's pretty much the end of the game, guys. That was the last score. We just went back and forth for the rest of the fourth quarter. And this is my last second heave again to try to get a last second touchdown just to annoy the crap out of him. But, I mean, that's... And, and you can see there that my opponent was far lower than me, and that's why I lost so many points, so many... Uh, are those prestige points? I don't know, really know what they are. I went to try to check out. I mean, you see his record. He's only got three wins, and one of, and one of those wins were against me. I wanted to see if he always played with the 49ers, which he, he kind of consistently does, as I consistently play with the Panthers. Uh, but that's the end of the video, guys. That's the reason why I don't play those guys anymore.